Hello everyone, we're here with uh, Sergio Martinez uh, at Kinder Ranch. It's a community uh, just north of San Antonio. Uh, Sergio, uh, could you tell us a little bit about the community? Yes, uh, Mario, thank you uh, for coming out here. Well, first of all, we're at Sunday Creek at Kinder Ranch and I'm with Imagine Homes here. Okay. Uh, and uh, just to give you a quick overview on Imagine Homes, uh, we've been building homes here in the San Antonio area uh, since 2006. Mm -hmm. Imagine Homes is a local home builder and we mm -hmm. build primarily here in the San Antonio area. Okay. And we're a pretty diverse uh, company. And when I say diverse as far as building, uh, we build product that's in towards the city downtown mm -hmm. where we buy older homes, tear down, do neighborhood redevelopment. Mm -hmm. uh, we have your traditional uh, family homes mm -hmm. uh, like what we have here at Sunday Creek and Kinder Ranch. We have half acre and larger lots uh, and then we also uh, have a build on your lot division which uh, can build on you know someone's property sure. uh, either uh, modify one of our existing plans, build one of our existing plans or totally start from scratch. And just to I guess highlight that so if someone bought a property and is looking for a builder to build on that property that's something that you imagine home offers that that's correct mario okay. now there are several things that we look at uh such as the topography sure. where the location is deed restrictions so we share that with the families and they mm -hmm. pr provide us with all that information before we move forward on that and then i guess in reference to experience mm -hmm. you know when someone's interviewing builders mm -hmm. uh, on average how many homes is imagine homes building per year Great question, Mario. We're a, uh, a, a smaller builder. Okay. We're a production builder, but we build anywhere from about 90 homes to about 120 homes a year. Well, that's a lot of experience for most builders. Mm -hmm. So if you go with a smaller builder, you know, to build on your lot, they're not going to have as much experience as Imagine Homes would Correct. have, you know, in reference to 90 to 100 homes a year. That's Correct. a lot of experience in, a, in one year time frame. So. Correct. And, and if I may add, we mm -hmm. also have... Uh, uh, because of our green building practices, we've won contracts with the city where we're building energy efficient homes mm -hmm. for the city and we go up to the multi-million dollar price range. Okay. So we've got a broad spectrum of product that we have experience with. So entry level, Imagine Homes, uh, if you want to, you know, what's your entry level and then I guess your high end? Well, entry level is going to be here at Sunday Creek and Kinder Ranch, Mario. Which will be our, price range? Our product starts at about $310,000. Mm -hmm. uh, and our square footage starts at about 2,009 square feet here in the community. Great, great. Okay. So a couple other things that people typically ask when they're looking for a house. Uh, one of the key questions is, you know, why are you different? What makes you guys stand out? Why are you unique? unique? Sure. So the very first thing that uh, Imagine Home uh, differentiates itself from our other builders is that we really f focus on uh, energy efficiency. Mm -hmm. uh, we have won five national awards uh, for green building practices. That's we great. are recognized by the city as well mm -hmm. uh, for being an Energy Star cert uh, certified builder. Uh, and some of the things that we do that mm -hmm. are different or, or we go further than a lot of other builders, mm -hmm. first we do foam insulation on the exterior walls. Okay. Your foam insulation expands a hundred times its normal size and fills all your voids and cracks uh, versus your regular fi fiberglass insulation. So what would be the difference in the R value, the rating as far as it's, you know, standard insulation? Uh, foam insulation on the exterior walls? Well, your R values are going to be similar, Mario, mm -hmm. but here's the difference. Mm -hmm. The difference is the air tightness of mm -hmm. what a foam product provides versus your fiberglass. Mm -hmm. So when you take the entire package, mm -hmm. uh, you get a better, well insulated home, and that is validated through a HERS test, mm -hmm. uh, which I'll talk about in just a little bit. Sounds so. Good. Uh, but we use foam insulation in your outer walls. Mm -hmm. We use foam insulation up in your attics. Mm -hmm. Later on in our uh, video here, I will show you one of our exterior walls through a plexiglass window that we have. Plus, we can walk into our attic and you can feel the temperature differences and you can see the foam insulation. Temperature differences from inside the house to your attic space with this type of insulation? With this type of insulation, Mario, our temperatures range between uh, 6 to 8 degrees uh, warmer than the inside of the house. That's amazing because if you ever is. walk into an attic space with even your... Um, uh, the plywood that's lined mm -hmm. with the, the silver lining. Your radiant barrier. The radiant mm -hmm. barrier. 
it's still significantly warmer than your interior sure, of your sure. home. So your, your traditional insulated homes, insulated attic homes, mm -hmm. uh, typically have temperatures ranging from 135 to 155 degrees yeah. in the heat of the summer. Sure. So this makes a, a, a pretty incredible difference. And it's less stress on the air conditioning system, less stress on the duct work. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're, they're, it just provides a, a, a very uh, energy efficient product. Right. But uh, we use blue Dow styrofoam wrap around the exterior of the homes as well mm -hmm. uh, to add an additional vapor barrier, moisture barrier, insulating barrier. Mm -hmm. uh, we use gas tankless water heaters. Okay. Uh, the advantages on the tankless water heaters is you're not heating water mm -hmm. uh, while you're away at work or uh, the kids are away at school. Sure. Uh, it only provides hot water when you turn the faucet on. So you're saving on electricity. Mm -hmm. But number two, it provides a continuous source of hot water so if you have three showers going the mm -hmm. dishwasher going uh, and you're using hot water you're not going to run out so that's an advantage that we have and then finally less space you're not taking sure. up tanks mm -hmm. uh, in the attic or in the garage and then you, it's not storing any water either so as Correct. far as you know something happening as far as a leak or whatever, you don't have 40 gallons seeping. That's correct. You know, into the attic space. Correct. If it's in the attic. Yes, and they're located in the garage, okay. mounted on the wall, so mm -hmm. yeah, you're not right. dealing with a, a large uh, flow of water coming out if, if something happens with that. Okay. Uh, air conditioning systems, we use train, mm -hmm. uh, 16 SEER uh, air conditioning systems. We match the furnaces with that as well. Okay. Uh, we use, uh, uh, dual flush commodes uh, for water saving uh, conservation mm -hmm. uh, and they're all elongated commodes. We use MERV 10 uh, media filters mm -hmm. uh, to filter airs, uh, the, the pollutants through the air in the house. We use LED light bulbs uh, throughout the house, not on your pendant lights for example or, or candelabras but throughout the rest of the house there are LED light fixtures. Right. We also, because your home is so airtight, mm -hmm. uh, we include an air filtration system that's made by Brone that, that cycles through every hour and introduces mm -hmm. clean, fresh air and withdraws the uh, stale air that, that you can develop inside of the house. Okay. Uh, one of the other things, you know, we focus on energy efficiency, mm -hmm. but today, Mario, everybody is using their smartphones and their sure. smart technology. So our homes come standard with some smart uh, technology features. Okay. We have a digital controller that's up on the wall. Mm -hmm. That's the main uh, uh, central brain for some of the features, so that some of the automated features that are included. Okay. Some of the things that are included are, in addition to that touchscreen controller, mm -hmm. we have a video doorbell out front with a camera. Nice. Uh, we have an automated lock uh, mm -hmm. on the front door. Okay. We have some lights uh, that are connected via a Z-Wave switch that you can turn on and off from the digital controller. Uh, you can control your garage door uh, mm -hmm. with the uh, controller here. Mm -hmm. But if the buyer chooses to do a monthly subscription uh, for security monitoring, mm -hmm. then they can get an app on their phone. Mm -hmm. And from their phone, they, they can then program uh, their thermostat from their house, they can, from their work or wherever they sure. are. Uh, if uh, they have a family member comes while they're not here, they can unlock the door from their phone. Mm -hmm. uh, plus, uh, again, if they upgrade, they can also uh, select uh, speakers that are interchangeable or work with Alexa. Uh, wow. So it's it's a smart technology home. So well, those are really neat that it's already included yes. in the base price. Yes. Now, price. now some of the things that I mentioned, like Alexa, that is an upgrade, mm -hmm. and it's a monthly monitoring. But it does come with some standard features, like the doorbell, sure. like the the, the controller, Z-Wave switches. Okay. So we've we've thought of those things yeah. again, and I'm trying to point out some of the things that make us different. Mm -hmm. An another thing that makes Imagine Homes different than your traditional production builder is we are a production builder. So mm -hmm. you get the advantage of a good schedule. You get the advantage of better pricing versus sure. a custom one-off builder pricing everything separately. Uh, but we can make custom changes unlike many other builders. Uh, for example, if there's a game room and a family wants to enclose it and make it into a bedroom, mm -hmm. uh, we can do things like that. If they want to push a wall out a little bit, we have the capability to do that. 
Well, that's so, good because most builders, like you said, don't offer that. They correct. have a set of plans and you're pretty much stuck with those plans. Co correct, correct. Yeah. So we do all of that up front, but then we kick into production mode and then we start. We can't start and make changes once we've started, sure. but we do have those advantages. So those are three key differences. Mm -hmm. Your energy efficiency, your smart home technology, and the ability to make uh, changes to the plan. Right. Okay? Right. Uh, Mario, the next thing I want to talk about, if I may, is sure. Kinder Ranch and Sunday Creek at Kinder Ranch. Uh, for those of you that haven't been out here, don't know where we are, we're located about eight miles north of 281 mm -hmm. off of uh, Boardfeld and Bolverde Road intersection. I've got a map here of the overall development and we're located right up here. Uh, we are in Bear County, uh, okay. just outside uh, you know the city of San Antonio. We're in Bear County. Uh, so what's the tax rate out here? Our tax rate is no city taxes, so well, tax rate good. is two point one nine percent. Okay. Uh, and there are some additional tax advantages, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Sure. But uh, this is the location. If you haven't been out to Kinder Ranch, th this is where where we're located. But Kinder Ranch is a thousand acre development, mm -hmm. okay, being developed uh, by Denton Development. Okay. Uh, Denton Development, uh, they've got a great reputation of building quality neighborhoods. They've been building subdivisions for over 70 years. Wow. And they do a super job in, in amenities, mm -hmm. uh, such as swimming pools. So we've got a community uh, pool, we've got a clubhouse, there's a, a meeting room, there are miles of, of paved walking trails. Uh, so it's a, it's a great area here. There are different sections here at Kinder Ranch, and the one that we're in is Sunday Creek right over here. There is going to be a second amenity center. Right now there's one amenity center here. There will be a second uh, amenity center located over in this center here. Okay. Now, uh, Mario, one of the neat things is you mentioned uh, we're in Bear County, mm -hmm. so uh, we do not pay city taxes out here. The tax rate is 2.19%, okay, so that's additional savings to the buyer. But in addition to that, we're in Comal ISD. We're in Bear County, but Comal ISD, mm -hmm. and I'll touch on the schools in a second. But Comal ISD gives the homeowners an additional 20% uh, homestead exemption on top of the normal 15000 homestead exemption that people get. So wow. that's an extra tax saving coming directly from Comal ISD. Mm -hmm. And since I'm talking about schools, uh, Mario, mm -hmm. uh, there's a survey that was released recently by Realtor.com. Mm -hmm. And what that survey stated is that 73% of families that were surveyed uh, place a very, very high value on schools, sure. okay? So Denton knows that, uh, a lot of realtors know that, they of look course. for great schools. Families that come in here are making those decisions based on schools. So if, if you look at our neighborhood here, uh, Kinder Ranch Elementary School is right in the community. It's within walking distance of where we are. It's really nice. Very, very, very nice. Very convenient. Then, right here, Mario, is a brand new middle school. It's called Piper Ranch Middle School and it just opened a couple months ago, just okay. this year. So you've got the middle school in the neighborhood, you've got the elementary school, and right now the high school students are attending Smithson Valley High School. Okay. However, land is set aside right here for a future high school location right. in the community. So for desirability, you've got all three schools in the community, mm -hmm. And this uh, high school, the plan is uh, right now uh, to open around the year 2021. Okay. So it's a great, great community, uh, amenities, sure. walking trails, families love uh, those kind of things, and you get some tax advantages. So, okay. Okay. So uh, with that said, uh, Sergio, I, I would think uh, I would like to maybe have you walk us around the house, sure, sure. Uh, the home, your model home here. This uh, model home is how many square feet? This particular model, uh, Mario, is uh, uh, three thousand five hundred and twenty-two square feet. This is our Sequoia floor plan. 
It's a four bedroom, mm -hmm. two and a half bathroom floor plan, and it has a three car garage as well. Beautiful laid out home. Is a third car garage an option or that's standard? That's this standard plan? and it's a tandem garage. Okay, I, I do also have a single story plan mm -hmm. that has a three car garage as well. So if you have any customers that are wanting three car garages, mm -hmm. I've got them here in the community. Great, okay? great. And Mario, depending on the lot, mm -hmm. if or the home site, if a buyer wants a home that has a two car garage, but the lot's wide enough, which we do have some wider lots, sure. I can add a third car garage because we okay. have the ability to customize by doing a bump out mm -hmm. or, or doing that third car garage. Real quick, the average lot size out here again? I know you mentioned Average that. lot size is um, 55 feet wide okay. by 120 deep. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that equates to about 6,600 square feet. Mm -hmm. uh, we've only been here in Kinder Ranch. Our model has only been open for about a little over two months. Mm -hmm. So the good news is that we've got a great selection of lots okay. or home sites. We've got corners, we've got cul-de-sacs, mm -hmm. we have uh, sites that have trees on them. And, and Mario, another thing about uh, Imagine Homes uh, is that we don't go too crazy on lot premiums or anything like that. Our most expensive lot premium is only $5,000. Oh, that's interesting. So we make it uh, mm -hmm. you know, pretty desirable. Yeah. I've got some very attractive home sites with trees mm -hmm. uh, without any lot premiums. Great. So Great. That, that, that's a neat thing about it. So this particular home, or if I can tell you our product, our homes in here at Sunday Creek mm -hmm. uh, started about 315,000. I think I said that earlier. Uh, but this home here is, uh, uh, our Sequoia is 3,522 square feet and mm -hmm. it starts at 395. 395. 395 for this particular home. Uh, and some of the features that you have, that's, now we get into the features. Mm -hmm. uh, we do include a lot of things that are standard. For example, when you walk into the houses, mm -hmm. uh, some of the building uh, uh, parts of the house, 10 foot ceilings on your first floor. 8 foot ceilings, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, 8 foot doors on Number your four. first floor level. We have attractive riverside doors mm -hmm. uh, as your standard door. We have 8 foot front uh, entry doors, wood with glass that are standard. I'm gonna, why don't I do this, I'm gonna uh, follow you around sure. so you can kind of uh, point sure. out the features. Sure, let's do that. Okay. All right, we're gonna transition maybe here to the entry a little bit. Okay, so over here in the entry, uh, as I was mentioning, eight foot uh, tall wood with glass doors that are that are standard. Right. Yeah. Now we do have some upgraded doors, but they're at a minimal cost. Okay. This particular room out here is our office, mm -hmm. and uh, we have flexibility to make this into a formal dining room or an office. Okay. Uh, so as we continue going back in this direction, Mario. We're back into the kitchen. You can see we have 42 inch cabinets mm -hmm. throughout the house. Uh, we have crown molding. We have stainless steel appliances, uh, granite countertops that are standard uh, material throughout bathrooms mm -hmm. and so forth. As we walk through Mario, we have, I mentioned 10 foot ceilings, but we also have large windows. Mm -hmm. So you get a lot of natural light coming in and it just feels very open, very open space. You can tell the home has a very modern, very clean feel, large spacious uh, family room, uh, soaring ceiling here. Uh, out to the back, uh, we do know that families uh, enjoy outdoor living. So all of our homes come with a standard covered patio in the back. Uh, they are four sides uh, brick on the main level. And we do use products like Acme Brick, which is an American-made brick. Uh, the, the outdoor kitchen is an option, okay? okay? So that's something that the homeowner can do. Uh, but this is the standard patio size, which is a pretty good size. And then uh, do you have sprinkler systems? Yes, yes, Mario. Great question. We have sprinkler systems and saw that are included front and back. Plus, we also have a six foot privacy fence along the back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, when a buyer builds with Imagine Homes, uh, they get the opportunity to go to our design center. 
uh, and they'll be working with uh, licensed uh, professional decorators who will give them great advice on color selections. So you're not stuck in a garage sure. picking colors or between a limited amount. Mm -hmm. you've, got, you've got a great selection available right. plus expertise uh, of, of people helping you. Okay. I'd like to show you the uh, master bedroom. Very spacious master here. How large is this master? Uh, Mario, this uh, you, you got me there. I don't, I don't have that memorized. It's about 19 by 20. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's about 20, I think, by about maybe 16, 16. or so. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. a good size master. Very spacious master. Mm -hmm. uh, we did add this uh, bay window here, uh, but one of the things I want to show you, this has two master closets. One of them you come in off of the master, mm -hmm. and if you look right here, I have a plexiglass cutout. Uh, of an exterior wall and this is the foam insulation that I was referring to earlier right. and it, f it expands a hundred times its size and it fills all your voids and cavities okay, okay. so from here Mario I, uh, if you want we can walk into the master bathroom mm -hmm. and let me step out of the way here sure. but your master bathrooms you have your granite countertops you have your dual sinks uh, you have medicine cabinets, you have your large walk-in showers with mud set floors. They're not the acrylic drop-in pans, uh, so they're just nice quality. Uh, even your commodes are the elongated commodes with dual flush uh, for water conservation features. Mm -hmm. And here's the uh, other closet that I was mentioning. So this home has two master closets here. It's a really good size closet. Mm -hmm. As we uh, continue, what I'd like to do is walk up the stairs, just kind of give a quick uh, look over the upstairs, and the key uh, items to focus on up there are the uh, sizes of the rooms, right. uh, sizes of the walk-in closets, and I also want to show the attic so we can see the temperature, uh, okay. uh, how cool it is. Sounds good. Well, let's head upstairs. And then, it's recording right now? But I'll edit this okay. down. Okay, all right. Okay, so then, you know, whenever you're ready, maybe hesitate a little bit and start. Okay. All right, so we're in the uh, upstairs game room area. It's just a spacious room with lots of light. Uh, great for families, for uh, entertaining. Uh, so this is a very, very nice uh, area. Uh, and I'm going to walk you over here into the uh, one of the bedrooms and just show you uh, the attic that I'm referring to. But you've got a bathroom here uh, with uh, dual vanities, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, how the plan comes. Large bedroom, large windows. And definitely lots of light. Yes. Yeah, lots of light. Your closet here, but I've got this door leading into your attic, mm -hmm. and it just tells you foam insulation is standard. And one of the things that we do to demonstrate um, how cool the temperatures are is we put chocolate in there. We're known as, uh, you know, one of, one of our advertising tools is uh, chocolate doesn't melt in our attics, yeah. you know, a little with a little bunny. So this tells you that chocolate typically melts between 86 to 90 degrees. Okay. So anything above that, you'll have a puddle of chocolate. Mm -hmm. So you can come in here and look, and we've got little chocolate bunnies set out there, little <laughs> chocolate tray. And they're not melted. They're not melted, but... but what you can see is the foam insulation that's applied in the attic. And uh, you're going to have to take uh, Mario's and uh, my word for it, it's very comfortable. It really here. is. I mean, compared yeah. to, to most attics, I mean, you, as soon as you step into them, you're sweating. And that's when you can, I can't even tell the difference between the two spaces, to be honest. So you said the difference usually is? Typically between six to eight degrees in yeah. temperature difference. Yeah, you can't really feel yeah. that at all. So. Okay. Okay, we're here back uh, downstairs at the kitchen uh, with, again, Sergio Martinez. All right, Mario. Well, the last thing I wanted to just add is that we do have four inventory homes here uh, in our community mm -hmm. uh, at Sunday Creek at Kinder Ranch. What price range are those? Our, our prices range from 370 up to about 450 range. Okay. And square footage from 370? From about 2,400 square feet mm -hmm. up to about uh, 30, uh, almost 3,600 square feet. Great, great. So, okay. Yeah, so I have four houses. Two of them are ready for moving right away. Two of them are going to be ready to move in within 30 days. Uh, 
We do have some incentives for our, our buyers, uh, which is up to $5,000 towards their closing costs when they use our preferred lender. Uh, mm -hmm. So we would like to you know, help, uh, help uh, you guys uh, and help a family uh, who's looking for that, that one beautiful home. As far as closing time frame, from contract mm -hmm. to close on, on the inventory mm -hmm. homes that mm -hmm. are ready, uh, 30 days? Typically 30 days, unless it's a cash transaction. Sure. Cash we can close as quickly as a week. Uh, we have closed some loans in, in three weeks, but it all depends on how quickly we get all the information, loan approvals, mm -hmm. uh, if there are inspections involved and so forth. But typically it is a 30 day close. Okay. And then one last question. Mm -hmm. Let's say someone's interested in buying one of uh, your new inventory homes, um, but they have a house to sell. Mm -hmm. Does Imagine Homes work with people that have homes to sell that are under contract? Or? We, well, Mario, if they're under contract, mm -hmm. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, so, but what we have to have is a copy of their signed contract, sure. and we need to know when that closing date is going to happen. Course. So, if they're on the market but don't have a contract yet on their home, that's something that most builders won't accept, right? Because well, we don't know when we're going to close. Not on an inventory yes. home. If you're building a home, correct. Okay. What's the timeline there? Let's say they start building a home, and building time is more or less six months. About six months. Yes. So, let's say we put their home on the market. Uh, when is like a, a, a day, you know, or number of days as far as it, their existing home needs to be under contract for that it's, to keep moving forward? It's about 90 days 90 from days time, time of signing the contract, okay. about, okay. yes. It's uh, right when we get to, to prior to sheetrock stage. Great, So great. That, that's about the time frame. Okay. So. Well, I want to thank uh, Sergio very, very much for uh, meeting with us today. If, again, you're interested in a new home out at Kinder Ranch or the North Central San Antonio, this is a really nice community, uh, low taxes compared to you know living in San Antonio. The tax rate uh, with city taxes inside San Antonio city limits is about two point between two point seven to two uh, two point nine percent. So out here we're at two point one nine. Two point one nine. Yeah. Correct. So uh, that's a significant savings, and that's not including the additional homestead exemption that Comal uh, uh, County also uh, gives you as a homeowner. Uh, thank you so much. We'll have uh, both Sergio's information and my information on the video. Uh, please feel free to reach out to either uh, one of us. We'd be happy to meet with you and show you the neighborhood. Thank you again. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.